I just released a new add-on to add impact waves to your scene. Let me show you real quick. So after you install the add-on, you have it right here on the side and you can see up here two buttons. So first of all, we have to add an object where we can add the impact wave. Let's make sure that it's big enough and also has enough subdivisions. So something like that. And very important, press Ctrl A and apply rotation and scale. And now let's hit the add impact wave button. Okay, now you can already see it added the default impact wave. We have here different presets, which you can change, for example, a water wave or a dirt, rock. I also have a preset for a small wave or a really big wave. Or if you have a wall or maybe an object, something like this. Then you can just select wall wave and it will appear on the side. Okay, so let's select the default wave. Now we have different settings. We can change the location on the X and Y axis. We can change how wide the wave is. We can also change the height and of course the animation, which we can also keyframe so it's animated. Then we have some noise settings. Um, we have general noise, which makes everything a little bit more noisy. And we also have the noise on top of the wave. So if we turn this down, the wave gets real smooth. And then we also have the noise scale and the noise detail to fine tune it even more. Now you can also remove the impact wave again with this button. And we also have a help button where there are just a few tips if something doesn't work out, for example, to make sure that the object has enough subdivisions, that it's big enough or that the scale is applied. And also another trick, if you keyframe the wave, let's go to the animation and press I to set a keyframe, then go a little bit forward. Now you can see it's animated, but you can see the keyframe. And for that, just go onto view and deselect this cursor. Now we can see the keyframes from this. Yes, it's also a good little tip to know. Another thing is at the moment you can only add one impact wave. So if I duplicate this, you can see they're both connected. Even if I remove and add them, they're both connected. So a quick fix for that is just go to the modifier and press this button right here. And now this isn't connected anymore. as you can see. And by the way, as a little side note, this impact wave works on every object, like no matter what object you have imported or how complex it is. Let me show you with this monkey. Just give it some subdivisions, apply rotation scale again. And you can see now we have the wave on his head. Also move it around. And yes, these are all the settings you need to create thousands of different looking impact waves and you never have to worry about your impact waves ever again. You can get this impact wave add-on, by the way, right now on my Gumroad for only $5. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. And also, if you buy it and create something with it, make sure to tag me on Instagram and I will try to repost you. And I wish you all a great week. See you next time. Make sure to tag me on Instagram and goodbye.